Well, Dr. Robin says one of the most common lies that women tell themselves is that anything is better than being alone. Right. How many times have I heard that? I mean, how many times have you all heard that yourself? People say, well, it's better than being alone. Right. And that the truth yeah. is that being alone is far better than being made invisible, being made to feel unimportant. I mean, that's the truth. But, you know, having said that, nobody tells us that. So yeah, that's nobody what, says that. Nobody says, you know, it's really OK to be alone. Everybody says it's really not OK. And are you going to be OK? And, you know, do you feel successful? Do you feel fulfilled? Do you feel so? You're going to have to retrain your brain and create new scripts for yourselves that are unique and authentic that say, I only want to be with someone, A, who wants to be with me and who I really want to be with, who has grown up and I'm grown up, but I also can be alone. But I wanted to say this, Tiana and Rick, uh, Tiana was here saying to us that she, you know, during the engagement process has been feeling like you lost yourself and that this is your best friend and he feels you're his best friend. I have best friends female and uh, male, Bob Green's a best friend of mine, whom I really do believe that we're soulmates. I do believe that soulmates come in the mm -hmm. form of something other than, you know, you have to walk down the altar with that person. I mean, with, between Gail and Bob Green, my two best, best, best friends in the world, there's nothing neither of them don't know about me. I wouldn't be, want to be married to either one of them, <laughs> <laughs> you know? But yeah. I think that we have to start in society putting a place for really deep, soulful mm. relationships does not necessarily mean that you have to go down the aisle with that. I think you know? that's a great point. I think the other issue that when you're talking about that is loss, that once we get attached to someone who we really do love and care for, yeah. the thought of losing them yeah. is so huge that I'm often willing to go forward in something that may not really be the next natural, organic, healthy step yeah. because I don't want to take the hit of the pain. So a lot of people get married, not just because they have money at stake and they don't want to lose the deposits, but they don't want to feel the ache. And of that, losing that person. Of losing that person, of grieving. Or but transitioning the relationship into to something, something else. else. Yeah. But part of that ache is part of growing up, yeah. part of being able to let go of people yeah. and bless them and be blessed by them is part of being healthy and mature. And we have no models, Oprah, for that in our society. I mean, right. it's like if you love them enough, you stay, you get married, and you work it out. Nobody teaches us how to let go. Well, I just would like to say to everybody, I mean, Dr. Robin can back me up here, that your 20s really are about getting to know yourself. Absolutely. That's what that entire decade is about, is about figuring who you are. And so that's why when you're 22, 23, Absolutely. you really, anybody who says they're doing it, and I know, and, and there are marriages that have worked, obviously mm -hmm. they've worked, but it doesn't ma mean that you are, you know, a whole, full, happy person just because you got through it. And it doesn't mean just that you're it still couldn't together. have been richer. Yes. Had you given yourself time. But again, we're scared to give ourselves time. We're almost scared that if I give myself time, I might not do it. Yes. And if that is true, then it's not meant to be done. Yeah. It's not meant to be done. You know, someone says, well, if I wait, we might change our minds. Then it means that changing your mind is what the divine plan is to be. Give yourself room to let God speak to you and don't have to be hit upside the head. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.